If you're given the rate constant for a reaction, the order of the reaction, and asked how long it will take to go from one concentration to another, you can totally do that. In this case of a second order reaction, all you need is the generalized rate or integrated rate law. For a second order reaction, it is this, where A is the reacting concentration, this is the initial concentration, K is the rate constant, and T is time. This is the integrated rate law for a first order reaction, and there's one for a zeroth order reaction. I don't know if you can see it here. It's on this formula sheet I have. See, got three integrated rate laws. Whatever, second order reaction, this is it. How do you find how long it will take to go from 0.75 moles per liter to 0.25 moles per liter? Great question, here we go. Well, you need some temperature time data. This A here is the concentration of reactant at time T. So, I want it to go from this, this is my initial concentration, to this. So, 1 over 0 0.25. I'm going to leave my units off. 1 divided by my reactant concentration equals my rate constant, 6.00 times 10 to the negative 3 times time plus 1 over my initial concentration. That's 0.75. Now all I have to do is solve for T. My recommendation is to evaluate each of these fractions separately, then move one to the other side using algebra. Here we go. 1 divided by 0.25 turns out to be 4. I got to keep this here. 6.00 times 10 to the negative 3. 1 divided by 0.75 turns out to be 1.333. Keep a few decimal places. It'll keep your accuracy. How do I undo this addition? Well, that's easy. I subtract it from the other side. 4 minus 1.33333 is 2.6666. And I'm still stuck with my 6.00 times 10 to the negative 3 on the right-hand side. How do I undo this multiplication? The answer is divide it out. Divide both sides by 6.00 times 10 to the negative 3. They'll cancel each other out here. And I'm left with 2.6667 divided by. 6.00 times 10 to the power of negative 3. I get 444.444 seconds. A lot of repeating decimals, whatever. Boom. Oh, how did I know that it was in seconds? Uh, I didn't. I actually made a mistake. It was actually in minutes. It's my own fault. The time it takes to go from this concentration to this concentration with this rate constant is 444 minutes. Seems like a long time, but you're cutting your concentration into thirds and it's a pretty slow reaction, so makes sense. Best of luck.